Shalom, I'm Tiffany Pardue here with Carolyn Hyde and we've been in the Galilee talking this morning and Carolyn, you shared something really profound that the Lord gave you this morning in your time with him. Yes. Would you share with everyone that is participating in the global Esther fast a bit about what you received this morning? Okay, mm -hmm. I get dreams, visions, words and this word came so strongly this morning from Ezekiel. Um, in Ezekiel 8, there was a vision of a valley of slaughter. We just had a slaughter in Israel. And this was followed by Ezekiel witnessing a man in fine linen with a scribe's kit at his side. And he was going around and marking, it says in the English that he was marking the people who groan and sigh over the abominations that are done in Jerusalem. And there are many. And, and one thing is that in Hebrew, this word mark is a tav. It's the last letter of the alphabet, which actually in ancient Hebrew, it was a cross. Mm -hmm. And so he was marking people with this tav. Oh, only those who groan and sigh over the evil done in Israel. And he said those who do not groan and sigh over them, it's judgment. And a very strong word, very powerful word. And then of course, Ezekiel sees the, the wheels uh, with the, that are covered yeah. with the eyes and, and the vision that he had. But my prayer is that every one of you will be marked with this Tav, that the man with the scribe's kit will come to you in the night and he will put that mark on your foreheads because you are grieving over what's happening here. One of the th main things that Ezekiel was shown that he was grieving over, at one point there was a group of 25 who turned with their backs to the, the tabernacle, the temple, Jerusalem, and they prostrated themselves toward the gods of the east, and they worshiped the gods of the east. And this was like the final straw for God. And I'm, I'm so sorry to say that it, with this slaughter that happened, there was a New Age festival and they were dancing around Buddha. Hmm. It, it's heartbreaking, but my please, please pray that, that this scribe would run out of ink here in Israel because he would need so much ink to, to mark us, the Israelis, who would put away our idols and say, no more, I'm not doing that anymore. And I'm going to groan and sigh over the abominations that are done in Israel today. Thank you for your love and prayers.